Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So here we got this controller, the Takansha brake controller. It's got a blue screen. So this is basically appearing now after I damaged a wire back there. Uh, and I'm going to crawl into the truck right now and show you what wires I'm talking about. So I'm under the truck right now. This is my, uh, my hitch or whatever, the hitch receiver. And I was trying to install the bolt that is back there, that one. So I didn't have the hitch on. And when I was hammering on the bolt that is right there, I accidentally pinched with the hammer and the bolt. I pinched these wires and, and a spark came out. Okay. I shorted the unit. And as you can see, this wire has been crushed right there. All right, you can see a little bit of crushed on that wire along with this wire right here. So I'm going to peel these wires back and we're going to see if there's any damage or, or if it's just the sleeving that got, you know, hurt in the hammering process. It appears that these wires are actually in good shape. It was just the sleeve that got damaged. So I'm afraid my unit might be toast. It might be the blue light of death. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but the symptoms that I'm getting now is I'm basically getting very poor uh, stopping power at the trailer and I'm not getting the full boost so like when I initially get on the brake at first you know how you set your boost one boost two or boost three well I'm getting like a boost one all the time I can put it on boost three and I only get boost one if anything so I I want to say that my unit's probably bad my trailer was not hooked up so I know it's not the trailer brakes themselves or the their unit at the trailer so all this happened with my trailer disconnected so it's something at the unit for sure i actually figured out what the problem was uh as you can see barely you can see that the unit is actually on and you can barely see what it says uh i'm gonna cycle through the settings here if it lets me display brightness and it's on the highest setting okay i selected okay it's on the it's on the brightest setting okay really quick i'm gonna go over the symptoms that this is giving me um after of course i screwed up and 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 hammered the the blue wire back there and created a short to ground i've been experiencing these problems so one of the so one of the problems is when i apply the brakes sometimes it gives me boost sometimes it doesn't and it's only giving me like partial of the brakes sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't then all of a sudden it says short to ground no brakes no trailer brakes and flashing and flashing and flashing and of course i don't have trailer brakes at that point because it's telling me that the unit is not doing the trailer brakes or that it's not a uh, applying trailer brakes because something's wrong it's it's detecting a short to ground so those are the symptoms that this is giving me it's an intermittent thing throughout the whole trailering it would only work like 40 percent so this is what the problem was i'm gonna show you now i'm gonna unhook this one Excuse my glorious pants. It's work day, so I've got to use the bad pants today. So, check this out. I went over to the auto parts. I picked up another unit. And guess what? This unit is in perfect operating conditions. Why? Because it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. This one's got brightness. You can actually see it. I can hold the phone this far away. We can see it. So I'm going to disconnect it, but so unfortunately, because I was hammering where I was not supposed to and ended up hitting one of the wires that goes to the trailer, a hot wire, I ended up creating a short to ground, hence damaging the unit for good. I fried this unit. This is a very good unit. I, I highly recommend this unit, which is why I bought another one. And now that I'm talking about it, uh, I'll go ahead and post uh, Amazon affiliate link, one of my Amazon affiliate links, so that you can get yourself one if you'd like. Uh, prices always vary, prices always change, so I couldn't give you an idea, but 
I mean, they're obviously over a hundred dollars, <laughs> but, uh, uh, basically, but yeah, if, if you guys are interested in one of these, you know, go, go check out, uh, go check them out on Amazon and see if, uh, see if they convince you. Don't let this, of, of course, don't let this video steer you away. This is not a problem with the unit. This is a problem that I created because of course of my screw up and and I ended up shorting it to ground. On the contrary, it's very neat at the fact that this unit is able to pick up the the source of of what created the problem to begin with. You know, it was able to figure out that there was a short to ground and it's letting me know with exclamation points I have no brakes. It says no trailer brakes. So I mean, it's, it's an excellent unit. I mean, it, it has so many functions you can have, uh, you could do your preset settings. So let's just say you have multiple trailers. You can set up, uh, different settings per, per the different trailers on there. You also have your manual override, say, uh, you need to apply brakes, uh, just specifically to the trailer and you don't want to apply your foot brakes or something. You just apply brakes here. So I mean, overall, awesome unit, which is, again, why I bought another one. So, this is not a bad review. This is just a, a video just in case somebody else experiences the same message and the same symptoms. That way you know that there's a possibility that your unit has gone bad. Well, if you found value in this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if videos like these interest you. Until next time, guys, y'all be safe.